Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.1, .1, Introduction to Coordinate Grids. Let's get started. Today's objective is I can name and locate the parts of a coordinate grid, including the axes and plotted points by graphing ordered pairs with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Please pause now to type this into your digital math notebook. All right, guys, today we're starting a new type of graphing unit. In this unit, we're going to talk about a coordinate plane or coordinate grid. A coordinate grid looks like a lot of rows and boxes like you see here, and it has different parts that we need to know before we can start plotting different points on it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is this middle part. The middle part right here underneath the airplane is called the origin. And the origin is located at the point zero comma zero because it is exactly in the middle and it hasn't moved at all yet. Now, when we talk about a coordinate grid, we wanna think about an airplane not a helicopter, because airplanes have to go down the runway before they take off. When we talk about going down the runway, we're talking about what we call an x-axis. An x-axis is a horizontal line that goes left and right, and it tells us how far into the diagram, left or right, that our plane is going to go. Then when the plane lifts off and goes up, then we're talking about what we call the y-axis. The y-axis goes up and down, and you can think of it like x comes before y in the alphabet. Just like x comes before y in our axes, x comes before y in what we call an ordered pair. An ordered pair is a set of two numbers that tell us where a point is located. In this example, three, four, the plane would go down the runway, one, two, three, and then up four, one, two, three, four. So it would be located right here. The three tells us how far we're going to go down the X axis. So we call it the X coordinate. And the four tells us whether we're going to go up or potentially down on the Y coordinate. Now in fifth grade, we're mostly going to be talking about this top corner that we call quadrant one. Now it is important to know that there are four quadrants, but here in fifth grade, we're mostly gonna talk about quadrant one. Let's do some problems together. All right, guys, since that was a lot of words, in your digital math notebook, we're going to review some of these terms. Remember to pause if you need to, to type in the words as we go. The first thing that we talked about is the origin. The origin is located right here where the four quadrants would meet or if we're only talking about quadrant one, it's the bottom left corner. The origin is located at zero comma zero, and it is where the X and Y axis meet. The X axis is the line that goes along the bottom here, and you can see that it's labeled with an X. The X axis is a horizontal, number line, which means that the y-axis is a vertical number line. It goes up and down. An ordered pair is a point where we used to locate a specific point on a grid. So in the example, we used three, four. So we would go over one, two, three, and then up one, two, three, four. So it is a pair of numbers used to locate a point. 
the x coordinate is the first number in an ordered pair and it goes left or right. The second number in an ordered pair is the y coordinate and it goes up or down. There are two other words that I want to talk about before we continue on and that is the word scale. A scale means our number line here on the bottom. We start at zero and we go all along, in this case, to the number 10. A scale starts at zero and it continues higher than the highest value, which means that if we were plotting a point um, 11, 2, then we couldn't use this graph because 11 would be off of our scale over here. So it always goes higher than our highest value. And the last word is the word interval. An interval is what we are counting by on the side. So in this case, I'm counting by one, two, three, four, five. I could count by three, six, nine. I could count by two, four, six. I could even count by 10, 20, 30. But a scale is marked intervals. on the side of a graph. Let's try plotting some points together. M. All right, guys, it's time for the lesson activity. In this lesson activity, we are going to look at this coordinate grid on the left and see what is located at that ordered pair. We're going to practice starting at the origin, going down the runway first, like in our airplane, and then rising up. Our first point is five, eight. So we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna go down the runway five. One, two, three, four, five. And then our next number is eight. So we're going to go up all the way to the eight, which you can see is the letter. Our next one is 12, two. For 12, two, we're gonna start all the way over at zero again. We're not gonna go from M we're gonna start at zero, we're gonna go over 12, and up two, which gives us the point P. All right, let's try our next one. Our next one is eight, seven. So we're gonna start at zero all over again. We're gonna go down the runway eight, and then up seven. It looks like that's the point H. Now, before you do the next few, I want to point out that if I were to do these numbers in the opposite order, I would get different points. So let's look at number one. If I were to go up five and then over eight, I would get the point C instead of the point M. So we want to make sure that our plane goes down the runway first before taking off. X comes before Y. All right, friends, it is your job on your own to find the letters for number four, five, and six. Make sure that you type your answers in your digital math notebook. Great job, fifth graders. When you feel comfortable with this lesson and your exit slip is complete, then you'll be ready to meet with your teacher. Great job.